Hi, my name is Ellen Avance, and I'm a hydrologic engineer with the Risk Management Center. In this video, we are discussing Bayesian estimation with RMC Best Fit. We will take a quick look at Bayesian, Markovo Chain, Monte Carlo, referred to as MCMC, and then look at an overview of the Bayesian estimation analysis in Best Fit. RMC Best Fit's third project element is, of course, the Bayesian estimation, the best and best fit. This is the heart of the software and what separates RMC Best Fit as the ideal software for flood hazard and risk assessments. RMC Best Fit performs Bayesian estimation using Markovo Chain Monte Carlo MCMC algorithm to estimate distribution parameters given the specified input data and parent distribution. Let's review what goes into Best Fit estimation analysis before diving in much more. We start with adding the at site gauge data, like the systematic period of record and any historical flood data and maybe even data from a paleo flood analysis. This is entered as input data like we covered yesterday. Next is prior information. When information is entered in the prior distribution for parameters or quantiles, this is called informative prior. Informative priors allow us to include regional data in our analysis that we already know about the region we are studying. They provide specific scientific information about the parameter. Prior information can be obtained from regional analysis like regional skew or regional precipitation frequency, causal modeling like rainfall runoff modeling, or expert elicitation. BestFit uses Bayes' theorem, which incorporates all the SI data, regional information, and prior parameter distribution with the likelihood function. The likelihood function gives the probability of the data conditional on the parameter distribution. Through the Bayesian estimation analysis, the posterior distribution of the parameters are developed, the parameter sets with the maximum posterior probability, or rather, the set that is most likely given the data. This is referred to as the posterior mode parameter set. For LP3, that is most likely values for the mean standard deviation and skew. Now let's take a short look at MCMC. How do we actually quantify uncertainty in practice? One of the best methods is Monte Carlo simulation. Monte Carlo allows us to estimate the uncertainty in model outputs when model inputs are uncertain, like with volume frequency or stage frequency curves. Monte Carlo builds output distributions over thousands of simulation trials. And with the distribution, we can determine the uncertainty. The basic steps include build a model, assign a distribution to the model inputs, like an LP3 distribution, sample the model inputs based on their assigned probability distributions, record the outputs, and evaluate the probability distributions of those model outputs. As just mentioned, to build an output distribution, Monte Carlo has to sample the input distribution thousands of times to quantify the uncertainty. BestFit uses Markovo Chain Monte Carlo, or MCMC. This advanced method makes the processing more efficient, basically reducing the amount of runs it takes for a parameter to converge. MCMC allows us to find the optimal LP3 parameters and estimate the uncertainty in those parameters simultaneously. Markovo Chain Sampling is a little like a board game that involves rolling dice, such as chutes and ladders. The roll of the die has a uniform probability distribution that will determine how much you move, but you also have a position on the board. Your next position on the board is only based on your current position and the random roll of the dice. As you move through the game, your specific position on the board forms a Markovo chain. Let's use an example of a children's matching game, but this time instead of finding pairs, let's find a hidden image. Or as in Bayesian analysis, let's find a posterior parameter distribution. This time, let's take advantage of differential evolution MCMC and run with three chains. Each chain will initially walk in a random direction independent of each other, i.e. selecting a parameter from the default uniform prior distribution. They each walk together in their separate direction, checking the fitness, which in this case indicates whether it's an X or part of the image until something more fit or more likely than an X is found. Each chain informs the other and they start to walk in the same direction of the image until the entire image is revealed. In other words, 
They will each converge towards the true posterior distribution. Now let's look after MCMC has run for a while and stopped after the thousandth evolution. Again, another skew is sampled from the probability distribution, this time around negative 0.5. In best fit, the default is to run 10,000 evolutions for the posterior distribution using six chains per parameter. Here, we have only looked at the first 1,000 evolutions from one chain and one parameter. At first, the samples are more random, creating a wider spread. However, this example quickly converges around the 0 to negative 0.5 distribution because the parameter likelihood fits the data better in this sample space. But, as you can see, there is a wide range of skew values that are accepted with this data set. This will result in wide credible intervals on the frequency curve as well. Now to Bayes' theorem. Remember, Bayes' theorem equation has four basic terms. The numerator includes the prior information, which represents the prior parameter estimates as probability distributions. The numerator also includes a variable for the likelihood function. The denominator is a normalizing constant. It is the sum of the total likelihood of all the parameter sets. In most cases, there is not a closed form solution to the denominator. Therefore, MCMC is required to solve the interval. The left side of the equation is the posterior. Bayes' theorem allows us to find the most likely posterior parameter set given the data and the prior information, while simultaneously quantifying the uncertainty in those parameters. Let's now move to, on to best fit to see the Bayesian estimation analysis in action. Now let's run through the parts of RMC best fit Bayesian estimation analysis. Remember from the Bayes theorem, there are three main components to the Bayesian analysis. The first is the user must select the input data and the parent probability distribution. This is done from the general tab in the properties menu. The parent distribution describes the parent population of your input data which is assumed to be the sample from a parent population. By default, the parent distribution is set as the generalized extreme value distribution, GEV. Currently, for most USACE dam and levy safety studies, you should select the log Pearson type 3 distribution. After you have selected the input data and parent distribution, BestFit automatically develops default flat priors for the selected parameter distributions. This type of prior information data is called a flat prior because they are described as a uniform distribution like the ones shown here in the skew of the log of flows. In this plot, we can see that the distribution of the skew value is from negative 2 to plus 2, with a density of 0.25. The goal of this routine is to develop prior distributions that have minimal impact on the posterior distribution. In other words, the data will completely determine the posterior. The typical end user of BestFit will likely not have much advanced training in Bayesian statistics. Therefore, the routine ensures you will get a reasonable result out of the box. BestFit develops default flat priors by first considering the parent distribution and its parameters, and then peeking at the data to determine broad upper and lower constraints for the parameters. This ensures the prior distributions for parameters are somewhat centered near the likelihood, but with a much larger spread. Users can reduce the parameter uncertainty by providing prior information, such as regional skew. Regional skew is the primary informative prior users will enter in a flood frequency study. The default option for skew will be a uniform distribution from negative 2 to 2. The density of the prior distribution using the default uniform skew distribution is shown in blue. The red density is the resulting posterior distribution. This is just representative of the at-site data as no regional information has been provided. Model rainfall runoff results can be incorporated into Bayesian analysis by defining a prior distribution for a flood quantile. An example of this is NOAA LS14 precipitation frequency analysis routed through a hydrologic model. This approach is referred to as causal information expansion, which takes the generating mechanisms of floods in the watershed of interest into account within the analysis. The benefit of modeling regional rainfall frequency information is that available rainfall records are often much longer than the at-site flood discharge records. 
Typically, the rainfall runoff priors are entered as normal distribution, providing the mean and standard deviation. We primarily use three quantiles for studies that inform risk assessments. As a general rule of thumb, if you are using NOAA Atlas 14 precipitation frequency data with a three-parameter distribution, such as LP3, then you should enter quantile priors for the 10, 100, and 1,000 year. However, if you have performed a custom rainfall precipitation frequency analysis that is believed to be of higher quality than A14, you should enter priors for the 100, 1,000, and 10,000 year. More details on priors will be in the next lecture. BestFit offers a lot of control to the user for how to set up the Bayesian analysis. However, BestFit starts with the default options that attempt to provide reasonable results out of the box, so most users will not have to alter the options. These controls are on the Option and Output tabs in the Property windows. Let's start with the Simulation options. These options tell the Bayesian estimation analysis how many chains to use and how to run the MCMC process prior to developing the posterior distribution. There is a need to run a certain number of evolutions or simulations so that there is convergence before outputting the posterior distribution results. Basically, the simulation needs enough time to search around for the optimal parameter set. Users should not make adjustments to the default simulation options unless they are experienced with Bayesian statistics or have been given guidance from the RMC to do so. The advanced options are ways to refine the MCMC algorithm. These should only be changed by someone with advanced experience in Bayesian analysis. More information about each can be found in the RMC BestFit Quick Start Guide. BestFit also has output options that users can modify. It defaults to the 90% credible interval, which is the standard for most risk assessments. It defaults to 10,000 posterior parameter sets. This ensures an accurate 90% credible interval. Again, remember these start up after the initial evolutions set in the simulation options. And the default AEP values used for plotting the results cover the frequency ordinate range from 0.99 to 1e minus 6 AEP. Users can tailor these to fit their purposes for the Bayesian analysis. Further information on the options can be found in the RMC BestFit Quick Start Guide. Okay, the run is done, and we now have results showing the credible intervals, posterior predictive, and posterior mode curves. Once a Bayesian analysis is complete, BestFit provides several useful plots for diagnosing how well the selected parameters match the data. This is called simulation convergence. BestFit also provides several tools for exploring the results of the Bayesian analysis. Let's start with the primary exploration tool. Frequency plots in BestFit are the primary tool for assessing the Bayesian analysis. Here we see the posterior predictive distribution, posterior mode distribution, and the credible interval. The mode is the most likely, the predictive is the average cutting through the horizontal plane, and the credible intervals represent the probability of the population that is between the intervals, which by default is the 90% credible interval. Frequency plots are where it all comes together. Plotting the input data, prior quantiles, and posterior parameter distributions for visualization. This is the result of the Bayesian analysis. Every Bayesian analysis will also have the tabular results. Users can view the frequency curve results in the posterior mode summary statistics as seen here. This data is often copied out to another application to either calculate the ERL or plot the results against the other Bayesian analysis and or other results. The posterior mode summary statistics are passed on to RMC RFA for the stage frequency curve analysis. All of the output posterior parameter sets and associated log likelihood values are available on the parameter set tab. BestFit provides several other tools for exploring the results of the Bayesian analysis. The primary tool is the frequency results, as we just talked about, but the other three are the kernel density plots, histogram plots, and the bivariate plots. 
These three tools are different ways of looking at the distribution parameters, whether it's the individual parameter posterior density, summary statistics, or how the parameter density functions compare against each other in a two-dimensional heat map. Again, these are available in BestFit to explore the results. For further details on each, refer to RMC BestFit's Quick Start Guide. There are also three tools in BestFit that can be used to diagnose if the parent probability distribution parameters have converged. Remember that the parent probability distribution parameters for the LP3 are the mean, standard deviation, and skew, which have uniform prior distributions by default. Convergence with MCMC means that the chains have converged to the target distribution, or in other words, MCMC has found the area that the final results will most likely come from. MCMC then samples from the target posterior distributions. If you remember, this is when BestFit samples the 10,000 evolutions after the warm-up period. Once it has converged, each of the following MCMC thinned iterations represent an independent and identically distributed draw from the true posterior. Convergence means you are getting reasonable and reliable results. The three tools we can use for diagnosing the convergence are Markovo chain traces, autocorrelation, and mean likelihood. For further details on each, refer to the RMC BestFit Quick Start Guide. This concludes the BestFit Bayesian Estimation Analysis Overview. Are there any questions?